Hi, this is Shijaz Abdullah from iloveazure.net. Today I'm going to demonstrate the various components that make up Windows Azure Media Services that help you build custom media workflows that scale in the cloud. Windows Azure Media Services is an end-to-end -end solution that lets you deliver audio and video on virtually any device anywhere. The service offers end-to-end -end workflows for highly scalable encoding, packaging, storage, and distribution of media content to a wide range of devices including TV, PC, and mobile devices. So let's look at the main components that make up uh, Windows Azure services, uh, media services. So uh, it includes ingest, ingestion, which is basically uploading mezzanine files or input files that you need to be encoded and processed. Uh, this can be done by HTTP or by UDP. Uh, encoding refers to the process of actually converting uh, to a, uh, a format that is supported in, uh, in Azure Media Services. Format conversion basically involves packaging the encoded content. Content protection refers to digital rights management or basically protecting the content from piracy. Uh, Azure also offers on-demand streaming as well as live streaming options. You can also insert advertising uh, so that you can monetize your video feeds. And we also have analytics which helps you identify uh, or uh, obtain more data on how your video, video content is being uh, used or consumed. We, uh, we also have third party uh, options for content management. Um, Azure Media Services is not a CMS or a content management system by itself, but it, it offers uh, you the capability of building an end-to-end -end media workflow. And from the distribution angle, we have CDNs um, or, or content delivery networks that, uh, that you can obtain from Microsoft, which is basically part of Azure CDN. It's part of the Azure services. Or you could use a third-party CDN like Akamai. And lastly, you can build players uh, using the SDKs available uh, for iPhone, uh, and iOS, Android, Xbox, browsers, and a wide range of devices. So let's take a look at some of the components that make up Windows Azure Media Services. As you can see, I already have a Media Services account provisioned uh, for me on my trial account. In this interface, I can see a number of tabs Let's go to the content tab. Now the content tab is linked to the Azure storage that would host or that would store the, the, the media files that I have uploaded. It is actually a uh, Azure blob storage, a block blob storage that would store the mezzanine files or the input files that I need to be encoded and packaged. It will also store the output files that are a result of the encoding and packaging. On the jobs tab, uh, I can see all the jobs that are currently in progress uh, in Azure Media Services. So if I have an encoding job that's, that's currently uh, in progress, I can monitor that job over here. And there is the uh, origins tab, which actually lists the origin servers that have been provisioned for my uh, streaming. So origin servers are servers that are actually responsible for streaming your content. And I can actually configure some settings um, for uh, the, the, the actual streaming, including the uh, CDN settings and the IP addresses that are allowed. And I can also configure some scalability options uh, for the uh, streaming. In the encoding tab, I can see uh, some settings for the Azure Media Encoder, uh, and I can tweak those settings here. You can also uh, have reserved capacity. Um, reserved cap capacity is available for encoding in units of 200 megabits per second, and this is recommended for production use. And this basically ensures that you have dedicated capacity for your encoding uh, jobs. Now let's take a look at um, the whole end-to-end -end, uh, media uh, services lifecycle. So let's uh, let's start by uploading a, a file that we need to uh, encode. So I click on the upload button and I'm going to upload it from my computer and let's select a really short video 
uh, for the purpose of this demo and um, you, you notice that it has already Azure Media Services has already provided a friendly name for this uh, which lists, lists the source format and appends the word source so that you can understand that this is um, the source file and the file is uploading it's a three megabytes file so it should upload fairly quick and once the file has uploaded uh, you will actually see the file uh, in your content tab Now that the content is uploaded, it's time to encode it. So I select the file I just uploaded and I click the encode button. Now I'm presented with a wide range of presets that I can encode this file into. For the purpose of this demo, let's just choose the HTML5 preset and click OK. You notice that the encoding job is being created for this particular file and the encoding process has begun. I can monitor the encoding job and its progress in the uh, jobs tab. And if I have multiple encoding tasks that are in progress, I would be able to see it here. You, you can monitor the status of the encoding job in this window and if you have multiple jobs, they would all appear here. Um, you can see that the encoding task is now complete. Now, if I go back to the content tab, I should see a new file that has been created in the format that I encoded it into. Now, this file is not yet published, even though it is the output file. So in order to make this content available to the, uh, the users who would consume this media content, I need to publish the file. So I select the output file that I just encoded and I click the publish button. Azure Media Services asks me for the confirmation. I say yes. And then uh, Azure Media Services generates a publish URL for this file. Now this publish URL uh, is accessible from the internet and my users can use this to access this content. So let's quickly copy this URL and paste it into a new browser tab. When I press enter, it fires up Windows Media Player and plays the content that I just encoded. So that's my output file playing there from Azure Media Services. The output file is stored uh, and streamed directly from Azure Media Services.